Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for my DIY living room makeover on a budget. I am the most excited to be sharing this video today because I have completely transformed this space into the modern farmhouse living room of my dreams and I did it all on a budget. That means that I did a bunch of wall patching and painting. I made some DIY furniture and decor and of course refinished some furniture that I already had, including my coffee table. You guys have been asking asking me for the longest time if I was going to refinish my coffee table and I finally did it. I've also got a ton of living room decorating ideas to share with you if you are decorating on a budget or just looking to spruce up your living space. But we are just going to jump right into this project and as always, I will start by completely emptying the room. You got something, something I can never be without, yeah. I'm in your coming, thought I was I love to use YouTube magic to get all of the heavy furniture out of my space and then as soon as the room is clear I'll just go in and remove any outlet coverings and then also take a scraper tool and scrape off any debris from the areas on the wall that need to be patched. Okay, so I have this space cleared out. All the outlet covers are off and I've like scraped all the holes and things to get them ready for spackle. And I just wanted to show you guys, look at how crazy this is. This is so much damage. It's from one of those command plates. And this is actually here from like the previous owner of our home. They had hung some kind of artwork up with that and never took it down. And I think what happened is they put it up here when um, like they painted and then the paint was still wet and they put it on, which kind of made it like mold into the paint. So when I tried to take it off, it was just so damaging and I had to scrape extra to get it as smooth as possible to be able to be spackled and patched. And then also when they tried to pull it off when they were moving, they were pulling out instead of down. And I know that because they tore like that little piece off of it. So there's nothing for me to pull onto, but it's just so crazy. So basically moral of the story is don't use those command plates unless you know what you're doing because it is such a headache. But now that this room is all cleared out and I've got the walls prepped for spackle, I'm going to go ahead and start spackling them so that I can let that dry and then start painting. So that plate cover ripping off so much of the drywall was only the first hiccup that happened. There were so many setbacks and just crazy things that happened throughout this project. And I shared a bunch of that over in real time on my Instagram. So if you don't currently follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. My handle is just at loving life as Megan. And I do always leave that linked down in the description box for you guys. But I basically treat my Instagram stories like a daily vlog. I'm super active over there and I love DMing with you guys. So if you don't already follow me, definitely go give me a follow at Loving Life is Megan. Every night I'm going on the grid texting back. I want you hit you up. I'm on the other side. I miss you, miss you. Take you off, I came, your weight is drunk, cannot keep it low-key 
Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof I know your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh, God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Okay, so I finally got all of the holes filled in with spackle, everything sanded down. I used my E-Cloth Flexi Edge Flare and Wall Duster to get all of that sanding dust and drywall dust off, and then also my E-Cloth Deep Clean Mop to clean the walls. Those two products are lifesavers when doing these kinds of projects. And then I just used a Grove Collaborative multi-purpose spray to clean the windowsill since I'm going to have to paint it here. Um, I also used it to clean all the baseboards, but I did vacuum the floors because they were just a mess and I didn't want to paint the trim without vacuuming first, but I just didn't film it because I am going to vacuum again when we're done painting and use my carpet cleaner and I'll probably film that so I didn't want to make you guys watch it twice, but... I'm just about to start painting all of the baseboards and also the crown molding. I'm going to be able to do this wall here myself, but Derek is going to have to do that portion and he's probably not going to want to be filmed. So I'll show you guys what I do and then he'll do that off camera and then I'll be able to start rolling on the paint. I'm getting so excited. This has been... A project and I'm just getting so excited to finally like see some light at the end of the tunnel but I'm just gonna get started on painting that trim and cutting out all the edges and then anytime that I am painting on camera I always get a ton of questions or comments really about how I don't use painters tape and I don't use any drop cloths and that's just because I'm not a super messy painter to begin with but when I'm doing these baseboards I do like to use that plastic scraper tool and I just kind of wedge that between the bottom of the baseboard and the carpet line so that it doesn't get any paint onto the carpet this works really well to keep the paint only where I want it and to not make a huge mess or a disaster on the carpets but also to get some really clean and satisfying lines
Just a little fun fact about me, I am completely terrified of heights. Even being on that small step ladder to paint that crown molding just gave me so much anxiety. And watching the footage back is giving me anxiety right now. I really just, I can't deal with heights at all. I was actually really thankful that one of the hiccups that came up was that even on a tall painter's ladder, I was not physically tall enough to reach the crown molding at the tallest part of the ceiling in this room because we do have a ceiling that has some really high points and it kind of slopes down so I could not do that and Derek had to do it for me and I was secretly very grateful for that because I just was dreading having to try to paint that crown molding and having to get up on a ladder. Derek is up there working on the edging next to the crown molding. Do you want to say hi now, Derek? Hi. Okay. <laughs> I tried to record this a minute ago and the girls were loud in the background and he said he didn't want to say hi. But um, So while he's doing that, just to try to be as efficient as possible, I think I'm going to roller some paint on these walls. I've actually, of course it's not going to focus now, I've actually never done that before where I rolled the paint on first and then cut in, but I've seen Kristen Casper do it, so I know it can be done. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Finally, we have this whole space painted and it looks really uneven because it's still drying, but that's just a part of the process. I can't believe it made such a huge difference, not just changing the wall color, but also like painting the windowsill white and the trim, the baseboards, the crown molding white. It just really, really brightened up this space. It's definitely more our style and I'm so happy with it. But now while I'm waiting for that paint to finish drying, I'm going to vacuum in here and then I'm going to do it once with a regular pass. Then I'm going to go back over it, slow vacuuming, and then I'm going to bring out my carpet cleaner and do some deep cleaning while the space is empty because it definitely needs it. Let me just see if I can just show you guys. We have the most random stains. Like, do you see that like orange stain there that it's under where our couch used to be. I have no idea where it came from. 
same with like this we just have like the whole carpet is like that and it just really needs a good deep cleaning so while the space is empty i'm gonna get that done Once I had everything vacuumed, I'm going to go over the entire floor with my deep cleaner and I will leave mine linked in the description box for you guys. I love this thing. It is super easy to use and it does a really good job. And I actually don't buy the cleaning solution for it that is at like Target and stuff like that. Instead, I just use a solution of Dawn dish soap with some Mrs. Meyers dish soap just to make it smell nice. And then also so vinegar and water and that works perfectly I know that it's safe for my family and for my pets and it does a really good job of getting any stains out yes, I'm just too scared to settle down that be many nights I got too high and almost left town but there's something about you something about you I like about you I like So I've got all of this wood here for my blanket ladder and I already sanded it with a 60 grit sandpaper. I'm about to go over it for a second pass with a 220 finishing grit and then I'm going to stain it all in that Minwax gel stain in the color coffee and put it all together and you guys I am so excited for this. I've wanted a blanket ladder for so long but they can be so expensive. So I think this whole project is only going to cost me $6 because I had most of the supplies already and I'm really, really excited. For anybody who wants to know, the um, longer pieces here are six feet long and then these pieces will be the rungs of the ladder and they are each 18 inches long. I have found the quickest way to stain wood for DIY projects. I used to use a brush and I would brush the wood stain on and then wipe it all off with a cloth, but I found that that was just picking up too much stain, so it took me a long time to wipe it off and it would make the wood really dark almost instantly and waste a lot of the product. So then I tried the rag method and I hated that. It took so long, so I had the idea to get a craft foam brush and brush it on that way first and then wipe it off and it works so much better. It doesn't waste any product. It just puts the perfect amount of stain on the wood. It's really easy to wipe off and it's just super quick. So I would highly recommend this method if you are doing any wood staining projects. Try using a foam craft brush to apply your stain with. It is a total game changer.
good life Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks Citrus in our beverages Citrus in our beverages Show only the good sides Always pretty smiles I have been getting so many comments on my videos lately from you guys asking me to refinish my coffee table and the time has finally come. I am about to sand the top of this and I've been going back and forth about if I wanted to have it wood stained on top and white on the bottom or painted everywhere and I think I've decided to just paint the whole thing. So I'm going to get the top sanded down and then start painting. Dry your eyes. I'm not even worried, but I can't hear the signs you describe. Don't be ashamed. We can't always leave this place and go where no one knows our names Pack your bags We never needed their permission to believe in ourselves So come with me We could spend the weekend doing everything they said we'd never do In their universe when I decided to paint my coffee table, I knew that I wanted to do something that was two-toned, but I did not want it to look distressed. I really enjoy the modern farmhouse aesthetic, which is more neutral, cool tones, and clean lines. I don't really like distressing. That feels very cluttered to me, and that's more of like a traditional farmhouse vibe. So I decided to go ahead and paint the legs and the bottom of my table white, and I am just using a basic white chalk paint and then I'm going to paint the top of it gray and I think that the brand that I used for that gray chalk paint is called Waverly. I got it from Walmart and it was really affordable and I know the color was called Elephant and it's absolutely beautiful. Just say the word I don't know when we'll get there but we're still young And there you just causing trouble but nothing can hurt us in our bubble for better or worse in an uphill struggle no regrets and windows all right so we've got another issue here we brought this furniture in we found it on facebook marketplace a couple months ago and we've been storing it in our shed waiting for this makeover but we got it in here and it doesn't match as well as we thought it was going to. It's really bulky in this space and we can't find a way to configure it that it looks good. And to be honest, I just really don't like it. <laughs> I thought I was gonna love it and I just don't. So we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board. I don't really have a vision anymore and we're gonna need to find some new furniture I can't, I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace today and there are just like no living room furniture listings in our area all of a sudden, don't you know? So we are going to list this back on Facebook Marketplace to get our money back for it at least, maybe even make some profit. And then we're gonna head out to Goodwill and the ReStore and do some thrifting and hope that we can find something to fit this space better. We got it figured out. We found this couch at the ReStore and I'm totally in love. It did cost us a couple hundred dollars, which was more than I originally wanted to spend, but the ReStore benefits Habitat for Humanity, so I'm not too mad about that. And then we also found this beautiful chair on sale at my Target. So I'm much happier with this furniture and I can see the vision again. It is finally time to bring this room together. So at first I'm just gonna work on getting my furniture arranged the way that I want it and rolling out this rug that I found on clearance at Target. And then I'll work on hanging some wall decor and putting some small decor touches around to make the room feel super cozy. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a 
place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out If you see anything in this video that you are interested in, definitely make sure that you check out my description box to see if there is a link there for you. I always do my best in every single video to link as many products as I can think of or can find just so that you guys always have that right there at your fingertips. This is going to finish up this space, but before I give you the final reveal, I wanted to remind you what everything looked like before. So I'm just going to roll some before shots for you just so that you can get a good feel for exactly how crazy this transformation really was. Here is what my living room looks like now, and I am absolutely obsessed with it. I am so in love. This space looks so much larger. It feels a lot more spacious, but also really cozy at the same time, and it absolutely reflects my family style, and we all love it and enjoy it so much more than we did before, and I hope that you guys really enjoy it too and that you were able to get some good DIY motivation and also some simple decorating ideas that you might be able to use in your own home. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching today and thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one.